Oops. Can't use that one. Well, hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Justin and Nate in the Kitchen. Um, we're hoping that you guys are enjoying these little cooking episodes um, as, much as, as much as we are. Today we have a much requested recipe. It is um, an Australian favourite, especially during the summer times. And um, it's said to have uh, been named after a famous Russian ballerina, Anna Pavlova. And so that's what we're going to be making today, a pavlova. Um, in Australia, most people usually buy a pre-made pre meringue, meringue and uh, then just add cream and fruit on top. But today we're going to be making our own meringue. It's uh, only the second time I've done this, so we hope it turns out. We do have a bit of a big mixing bowl, um, so we're going to be doubling the recipe. Uh, but the recipe will be down in the description below, and that will just be for one the one standard bowl. recipe. Yeah. So, yeah, don't freak out if ours looks a bit Huge. too big. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, and we hope you guys enjoy the video. So before we get started, we're going to have to um, wipe down the bowl and everything with um, lemon juice or vinegar, just to make sure there's no oils or any fat residue left, you know, like from butters and stuff from cooking before. Okay, so first step is going to be to separate our eggs. Tedious work. <laughs> Nerve wracking. As you can see, there's quite a bit of white in there. That's because we uh, broke a few yolks. Okay, and uh, now that we've got the yolks all sep well, the whites all separated off, um, we can now put it on a medium uh, speed, just to get, uh, and it will beat until it's got. Um, so it makes soft peaks, is what they say. So, turn that on. Okay, so now we've got Now we've uh, beaten it to some soft white peaks. We're going to add in our sugar uh, slowly. You can't add it in all at once, otherwise you get rid of all the air bubbles that you just put in your egg whites. So we're going to be doing it, you know, tablespoons at a time. Okay, so now we're just going to see that it's all mixed in because we want all the sugar. You can feel if it's mixed in and dissolved by rubbing it between your fingers. How's it feel? It needs a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, let's feel it again. Much better. So as you can see, we've got some very stiff, very stiff um, ring. Next uh, ingredients are four teaspoons of, well, four teaspoons for us will be two teaspoons for the ordinary recipe of corn flour. Corn starch, depending on where you are in the world. So we've got two, three, four. Four teaspoons of that. Four teaspoons of lemon juice. And then we don't want to knock the sides because we don't want to knock the air out of the mixture. And then we've got a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we just stir it by hand to combine. doesn't need a lot of stirring, just combining the ingredients. Like I said, this is only the second time we've uh, ever done this. So we'll see how it turns out. Now we're just going to turn it out onto the tray and try and not make a giant mess. Now we've preheated our oven to 130 degrees Celsius already. There we are. All right. And then we got a little spatula now. Trying to shape it. We're just going to take a bit out the centre, so that's where our cream and fruit is going to go. And then smooth that over the edge. And Okay, so there we are. It's ready to go in the oven. And so to start off with, we put it in the oven at 130 for 10 minutes. And then after that, we drop the temperature down to 100 degrees and cook it for 90 minutes. Okay, so the oven is now off and the, our meringue is now cooling down. Um, you just turn the oven off at the end and allow it to cool down. So it's been cooking for... And don't do any tap dancing right now. Yeah, no tap dancing. <laughs> no banging things. Yeah, so it's been cooking for an hour and 40 minutes and uh, we switched the oven off and it's cooling down. It's been cooling down for a little while now. And uh, we're just going to whip the cream and cut the strawberries ready to put on top of our pavlova. And then we'll be finished. Mm. We'll just do the whole lot in.
so how are we going to do this? Am I just going to... Surprise! We actually made two because this one's going to go to the neighbours and this one's going to be for testing <laughs> the, what it tastes like. So, here I'll do that. You put the strawberries in that one. have a variety of fruits on them. Pavlovas. Oh, what did I say? Meringues. Well, it's kind of a meringue. No, Pavlovas. A, a little bit <laughs> Have a variety of fruits. What are some, what are the things they have on the Passion fruit sometimes. Yeah, passion fruit. Kiwi, kiwi fruit. fruit. All those sorts of things. All but, kinds of berries. Usually something a little bit tart to uh, counteract the extreme sweetness of the <laughs> shell. Pavlova. Pavlova, yeah. yeah. Ta-da! And just the dusting of icing sugar. Okay, now it's uh, time to test taste it. Well guys, that's the end of the video. We really enjoyed bringing you along with us as we made this iconic Australian food. It's a real summertime favourite, and uh, if you guys do try it, um, don't forget to leave your results over on Instagram at hashtag BackyardRussia. We'd love to see how it turns out for you. But until then, we're going to finish up this small one and take the big one to our neighbours, and uh, yeah, hopefully they enjoy it as much as we do. But until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Wipe down all our utensils. <laughs>